Now in this video we are going to observe the resistance of conductors of various shapes. Now if you have a normal solid conductor, the solid conductor of length L and uh, cross sectional area A, cross sectional area A, if rho is the resistivity, if rho is the resistivity then resistance is R equal to rho L by a. Okay. Now suppose you have a cylindrical shell, cylindrical shell, okay, of this shape. This is the axis. So this part is hollow, the inner part is hollow. So this inner radius is A, outer radius is B. Okay and let's say L is the length, rho is the resistivity. So in this case, so if you see, observe the cross section, the cross section will be like this. So this radius is A, this outer radius is B. This is the solid part. This is the solid part. This part is hollow. So in this case, what will be the cross section area? Cross section area will be pi B square minus pi A square. So that can be written as pi b square minus a square. So this is the cross sectional area A. Okay. So for this uh, hollow cylinder, the resistance R will be equal to rho L by pi b square minus a square. Okay. Now suppose you have a cylinder of this shape. Okay. Such that this side, this is a solid cylinder, this side the radius is A, this side the radius is B. Okay. And L is the length. Okay. So now, if you have to calculate the resistance of this kind of conductor, let us take one differential element. Okay. This is a differential element which is at distance x from this end. Okay. And say dx is the thickness of this element and r is the radius. Okay. So, the general expression for the radius, see this differential element can be anywhere from between this point and this point, this side and this side. Okay, so that I can write R is equal to A plus A is the radius of this part. Increment in radius per unit length because as you move from this side to this side the length is the radius is increasing so incre increment in radius per unit length multiplied by this length x okay so as you move if you are at this particular position the value of x is equal to 0 so r is equal to a if you are at this particular position the value of x is equal to L. Okay, so value of x will be equal to instead of x will be, will be equal to L, and radius this radius will be equal to a plus increment in radius per unit length into L. Now, what is the value of this increment in radius per unit length? This is equal to the slope that is equal to b minus a divided by L because the radius how much radius is changing across the length L. Here the length is radius is A, here the radius is B. So length across length L, the radius is ch the change in radius is B minus A. And what is the total length? L. So radius is changing by amount B minus A through length across length L. So increment in radius per unit length is B minus A by L. Such that I can write this as, now finally I can write it as R equal to A plus b minus a by l into x. 
okay so this is the radius of this differential element now remember thickness is of this element is dx the thickness is equivalent to if the current is flowing in this direction that is equal to length of this element such that for this differential element the resistance dr can be written as rho dx rho into l this is the length divided by area okay so area is pi r square so pi r square because r is the radius of this disk of thickness dx radius r isn't it so so that instead of r i can write this so what will be the total resistance total resistance will be r equal to you have to integrate from 0 to l 0 to l rho dx divided by pi r square so that is 0 to l uh, rho and pi i'm taking it out outside the integration symbol so rho by pi this is dx divided by r square what is r, r is this quantity this is a plus b minus a by l into x square okay so now if you simplify this you will get r is equal to rho l by pi a b so this is the resistance of this cylinder whose two ends have different radius okay now next let us consider a case wherein we have a cylindrical cylindrical conductor conductor okay solid cylindrical conductor whose inner radius is A, outer radius is B and this current it is flowing in radially outward direction. Current is flowing in radially outward direction. So this is the direction of current. Okay. And this part is the solid part this part is a solid part this is hollow part this inner part is hollow this part is solid part current is flowing in radially outward direction so what we do in this case you take a again a differential element okay of thickness dx and radius x Okay, now the cylinder, it is in this particular position, okay, and you are observing the cross section, this is the length, okay, so current is flowing in radially outward direction, it is flowing in radially outward direction, so suppose L is the length of this cylinder, L is the length, okay, so in this case, the resistance of this differential part can be written as, dr is equal to rho see current is flowing across length dx so rho dx divide by what is the length of this or uh, the area of this differential element see this is of length x radius x sorry so that means this total perimeter length will be twice pi x and l is the length of the cylinder so area will be twice pi x into l Correct. So, this is the resistance of this differential element. Okay. So, that means R will be equal to, resistance will be equal to, see inner radius is A, outer radius is B. So, A to B rho dx divided by twice pi x into L. So, this is a simple calculation and this gives R is equal to rho by twice pi L natural log 
b by a so this is the expression for final resistance okay now instead of this cylinder suppose this is a sphere okay for the same figure if this is a sphere this part is hollow part this part is solid part and the current is flowing in radially outward direction okay so in that case the resistance of this differential shell now this will be a shell dr will be equal to rho dx divided by what will be the area of this spherical shell 4 pi x square so resistance will be equal to rho by 4 pi a to b dx by x square so after substituting the limit you will get r is equal to rho by 4 pi b minus a divided by a b so this is the expression for resistance okay so so basic concept is same r is equal to rho l by a but this concept you have to apply in different situations okay and this question specific, this question is from cop concept of physics by S. Orma. and the other questions are based on this same concept okay so you you should practice such questions and uh, make your concepts strong because j main will test your knowledge of concepts j main is not like you have to buy heart formulae and solve questions okay there will be questions direct questions but basically you should be good in your concepts good luck for exams